Hello around the strand here again, another episode of Farm and Simulator 15. And we are playing on the RDL and farming server, playing on the Cold Burrow map. And I'm just selling a little bit of barley here so we can make a bit of money. Actually, I should probably be, you know, outside the cab so you guys can kind of see, you know, the nice uh, looking scenery we got around here. A uh, very beautiful looking map. And so far I've sold two loads of barley. I've made roughly about 15,000 or so. And I am on with David there. He looks like he's working on some cows. And I missed my turn back there. I thought I did. And yeah, from his comment there, yeah, working in the small areas there. So yeah, since the last episode, uh, got a couple of fields harvested. I haven't done any harvesting yet myself. Maybe once we uh, get some of this barley sold, we'll uh, start on some harvesting. We'll maybe sell uh, one more load yet here. Price has probably uh, gone down a little bit. Uh, let's double check that. Uh, barley, as you can see, we did have quite a bit of it there. Oh, it's actually only gone down a couple bucks. It's not too bad. I think it was uh, 300 when I started. And we'll start filling. And on this map, I think I pointed this out already, you do have the option of uh, picking it up with a uh, front loader as well, or a front loader on a tractor, whichever you prefer. Uh, I much prefer to drive under the spout here and let it uh, fill up. Seems uh, much easier to me. Yeah, maybe someday when I'm bored to pieces or something, I can uh, load this up with a front and loader. But for now, yeah, drive under there seems like the way to go to me. Yeah, it seems like everybody's enjoying the uh, Coldboro map so far. I know a few complaints about it being uh, hard on your guys' computers, but... So far it seems to be going okay. I know it does say that if you look in the, uh, and make that one. If you look in the description here, I think it's in this description. Ah yes, uh, due to the high level of detail and long view distances, it will take a high spec PC to run the map on the highest graphic settings. So, uh, I'm definitely not having any troubles, but uh, then again I have a high end PC, so. I am running it on the max settings obviously and still pulling an easy 60 frames a second. Yeah, definitely a very uh, nice map to look around. And watch where I'm going at the same time. And the server is on hard, by the way, so that is why we're not making quite as much money off the crops here. The prices aren't that exceptionally good, so that's basically the way hard is. Basically, every uh, notch you take the game down, it uh, halves the prices, so... You go from easy to normal, the prices are halved, and you go from normal to hard, the prices are halved again, essentially. Now, 
Now, so for example, typical price here, we'll say 300 bucks. Uh, normal, it'll be 600 bucks, and if you're playing on easy, it'd be roughly 1,200 bucks. You know, obviously the price varies, so give or take whatever amount it varies, but that is basically how it works. Okay, 43,000, that should be enough to uh, purchase a tractor. And I believe I showed that last episode, so folks probably can guess what uh, tractor I'm going to be purchasing with that money. Just if I uh, remember and get my mathematicals correct. Okay, I think we can uh, take this road here as well, just to, uh, you know, go a little different route. Ah, interesting. Oh, did not mean to get back in there. Yes, yeah, so, okay. Guessing we probably can't get into the field because this gate's closed. That could be a potential problem. I was uh, wondering if we would need the, uh, I think it's the open door trigger, or something like that. I forget what the name of that mod is again. The open door trigger mod. Oh, lag spike. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah, so far most of the gates I've seen have been open, so I was kind of hoping to get away without having to have the open door trigger, but looks like I might have to put that in yet. So, I'll just uh, notify you guys, that'll probably be another mod you guys will need. Open door trigger. Also, if we do uh, pigs and beef, we'll probably want the uh, OEB livestock trailer, or a livestock trailer of some sorts. The uh, OEB one is the recommended one, at least what the mod author recommends anyway, so... Okay, now the trailer was parked in the shed here. I'm not sure how somebody got this in here, but we'll try to get it back in there. Might have to maybe move that combine out of the way or something. Ah, there we go. We got it, yep. Actually, we might need that. We're going to do some harvesting. I'll just uh, leave that hooked up. Okay, let us uh, purchase the tractor then under mods. Mods, tractors. The uh, Fent Farmer 310 LSA. I'm not exactly sure what the LSA on the end stands for, but... Only a 95 horsepower tractor, so kind of a small one. And like I mentioned before, I do plan on adding maybe two or three more. Probably be Fent tractors. I may add a different type. I don't know. We'll see once. Yeah, it just seems like a Fent tractor would be a good uh, choice for tractors on this map. Maybe add like a medium horsepower and maybe a higher horsepower tractor, something like that. I think it's a 718 Fent, if I remember correctly, or something like that. And then maybe we'll add like a 900 series something Fent tractor as well. So yeah, there's our Fent. Ooh, a Turbomatic. That sounds impressive. Yeah, kind of a little bit of a plain looking tractor, but not bad. Uh, shop area here, very nice looking shop. It's got some, uh, you know, tractors sitting out here. What do we got here? This is a T6175. Uh, In-game baler, plow. Assuming these are actually the in-game models, they look really nice. 
Unfortunately, you can't get him in them, though. Uh, we do have IC opening doors, front window. That's one you don't see too often is a front window that opens. Don't see anything else. Yeah, doesn't look too bad. Oh, it does have indoor sounds. That's pretty nice. Ah, I forget. Is this a tractor? It might be the one. I think they said they put uh, indoor sounds. Actually, maybe if I stop, can I open that? Yes, yeah, so if you open the window, you lose your indoor sounds. Couldn't remember if this was the tractor that did that or not, but yes, it is. So it's pretty cool the mod author actually thought of that, you know, if you open your window, you kind of lose your indoor sound. Yeah, not a very big tractor, unfortunately. Probably won't be the most useful tractor on the farm, but at least it's a tractor. And as you can see, we do own a nice uh, selection of fields around here as well. I'll just uh, dump this in the shed for the moment. Uh, just take a quick look at the map here. So yes, we own uh, 21, 22 there. Those are grass fields. Also uh, 31, I believe... I think that's the cow farm up top there, if I remember correctly. And then we also own all the fields around the farm here. So we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A uh, total of, looks like 40 fields. Looks like that's the highest number I'm seeing. So yeah, 19 through, ah, yeah, it says 19 through 40. There is grass. So 1 through 18 is uh, harvestable fields. Now, let's see if we can uh, get this combine down around this map. I don't believe we have a header trailer for this combine, so... Okay, interesting enough, this gate is closed. Well, it looks like the field's harvested, so someone must have found out a way to get in there. There actually might be another way uh, down around the corner, possibly. But yeah, it looks like I'll probably have to add that. Like I said, I was hoping to uh, get away without it, but... We shall uh, start on field two here. This is, I'm not sure if this is wheat or barley, one of the two here. That looks like it's going to be wheat. And like I mentioned too, I'm probably going to get rid of the GPS mod. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a whole lot of benefit for it. But yeah, I'll, uh, let me know what you guys think on that. Uh, do we want to keep the GPS mod or ditch it, so to speak. You now the shape of these fields are not going to lend well to uh, the GPS mods, so. Actually, is this uh, field fertilized? It looks like it is. Okay. Double check. Actually, you know what? Maybe it's not. Let me uh, get out and look at this. Not 
sure if it is or not. I'm having a hard time telling here. I kind of see like a darker line here, but I'm not sure if that's from the fertilizer. You know what? Let's uh, grab a tractor here and run a fertilizer across this. Perfect uh, job for our new little tractor here. Now, if I can find the fertilizer spreader. Last time I seen it was over here. Eh, it still is, yeah. Oh, that's an interesting hookup sound. I don't think I've heard that before. And we'll let that fill up. Uh, do we have a front three point on this one? Yes, we do. Okay, probably won't hurt to have a weight on this tractor. That seems to be handling it okay, though. Yes, yeah, so I still cannot tell if this is fertilized or not. Okay, I'm going to say it is because I did not see that spot there change. Okay. That is uh, one thing you'll commonly see on maps like this when you're just starting out. The uh, fields will not be uh, fertilized. And, you know, if you take uh, a couple minutes to actually fertilize your field, you'll basically get double the uh, crop. That's basically what uh, fertilizer does in uh, farming sim. And why are we missing that there? That's kind of weird. And all the fields on this map do come planted in uh, canola, wheat, or barley. You know, one of those three. I didn't see any corn on this uh, map. Kind of interesting, no corn, but... Yeah, I'm not sure why we're missing bits and pieces here. That's kind of weird. Must be just the angle we're working at, I guess, isn't... Uh an angle farming sim likes, maybe. As uh, quite clearly my header is over that. Wait for it to stop uh, dumping out the straw there. Oh, nice. <laughs> a couple trees in the middle of the field. Yeah, okay. I always hate it when we see that. When I see that. Hired workers are just going to love that. Now, is that missing just because I can't uh, get it, or... Yeah, that must not be harvestable there or something. I'm not sure why that would be, but... I have to see once if I uh, want to cultivate this field, maybe it'll go away. Eh, 
And while I'm attempting to drive here in Combine, and yeah, this should uh, go well, uh, we'll read some uh, comments. Uh, Ryan was asking, does anyone have a Kubota tractor mod out? Uh, I believe so. I think I have seen a couple of Kubota tractors. Have to check the uh, mod sites. I personally do not have any, but uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure I've seen at least one Kubota tractor. Uh, Craft Farms sent me a link to a JD John Deere uh, MoCo that was released. Uh, it's from American Eagle Modding. Oof. And we're full already. I'm on. Stop, Combine. That uh, lag you see, by the way, isn't from the map. That's actually uh, my connection lag to the server. Or possibly server lag. I don't think it's server lag, judging from what my... Uh, Ping is doing down there, just jumping all over. You know, my frame rates is actually staying at 60. So it's a more of a connection issue, I would say, than an actual lag issue. At least with the map, anyway. Uh, let's grab... You know what? I do not have the vehicle switcher mod set up yet, do I? Okay, let's uh, tab around until we find something. Yep, that'll do. So yeah, like uh, Craft Farms pointed out there, for anybody looking for a John Deere mower, uh, this isn't a self-propel mower. This is one they pull behind the tractor. Uh, go to American Eagles Modding there. They have one that looks like it's just been released, I believe. So And you know, there again, American Eagle Modding, fairly uh, safe download site. With some uh, fairly good content as well. I'm not going to say they're uh, exactly one of the better modders. Uh, you know, they got some good stuff, but they've got some uh, stuff that's got problems with it, too. If I recall correctly, that uh, I think it's the Kenworth uh, truck I have came from there. It's got some issues with it. Oh, Parker says you need to add the following mods to the server. The animation map trigger. Ah, yes, that must be the name. Uh, it's like an open door trigger. Animation map trigger. That must be the name of the mod that we need there. And... Oh, yeah, the OBE livestock trailer. So, yeah, like I mentioned earlier in the episode here, I was actually talking about that. The uh, trigger for the uh, gates. Like I mentioned, I was hoping to get away without needing them. So like I said, uh, most of the gates I've seen up until this point have been open. So it's like, well, if they're open, I don't need to close them. You know, eliminates the need for one mod on the server. But yeah, it looks like we'll have to get that mod, so... Just be aware of that, folks. You go to join the server, and it's probably going to say you're going to need that mod. Because I'm going to probably add that after I finish recording this here. And then we'll probably add the uh, livestock trailer as well, so we can do the pigs and the beef. Otherwise, uh, you know, we can do the pigs and the beef, but we have no way of selling them, so... Need the uh, trailer for that. Uh, Sightmaster was saying, as always, great video. Thank you very much for that. And let me navigate my turn here before I read the rest of his comment. Uh, regarding the new Colboro map, he says, Just installed it and I'm sad to say I will not be able to play the map because of FPS issues. This is like running on a 300 baud modem. That's kind of too bad. 
Uh, he says he's got his game settings on high, doesn't want to change it for just one map. I don't know, for just one map, you might want to change it for this one. Like I said, pretty nice looking map. But yeah, it does say that in the uh, description. It is uh, for high-end PCs if you want to turn the graphic settings up to high. So, just a warning there to you folks. I'm definitely not experiencing any issues with it, but... You guys' uh, mileage may vary on that one. And like I said, some of the uh, lag you guys are seeing on my screen is not uh, frame rate related. It's uh, my connection to the server. I know last night it was uh, playing perfectly fine for me now uh, playing right now it seems to be lagging out a little bit every now and then one good way of telling is uh, looking at the crops coming in the combine here if the animations there that means it's pretty good so as you can see uh, a little bit of lag there the animation disappears Uh, Brayden was asking where is the map out on? It is on FS UK. And like I said, all the uh, links for the mods you'll need to join the server should be in the description below, as well as in my mod list. So. And as of right now, you need the map, obviously, Coldboro. You need the Fent Farmer 310 LSA tractor. I need the GPS mod and the vehicle switcher mod. So those four at the moment. And I'll probably add yeah, a good two or three more. Maybe definitely be adding the uh, animation map trigger. Probably add the uh, livestock trailer as well. And I might add the another tractor to another fent. So I think it's the 718 fent if I remember correctly. I could be wrong on that one. I'll have to go look at my uh, mod list. Hey, not bad. Once I get this uh, ma uh, tabbing order figured out. Okay, please ignore that as I drive through crops there. I'm going to blame that one on lag. And I know I mentioned in the last video too, but you cannot drive through the hedges. So, no uh, cheating driving through the hedges. Uh, Brayden was also wondering, uh, can you put all your mods into a single player map folder so it can download it, you know, basically in one full shot there? Uh, no, I could probably not do that. Uh, all the mods I have, I think uh, I've got a total of like three and a half gigs of mods at this point. Yeah, that'd be a pretty big uh, file. Plus, uh, mod authors frown on you doing that as well. They don't like uh, people, you know, putting... Uh, mods up on other websites and such as that, so. That's why I'd much rather provide you guys with a mod list. A little uh, safer on my part that way. Okay, I believe that is all the comments at this point. Oh, no, we got two more here. I will uh, read those and then we'll call it a wrap for this episode. John was saying, great video. Uh, thank you very much for that. And he says we should use the uh, square bale, baler on the really hilly fields. Yeah, that probably would be beneficial. Uh, the only reason we're using the round baler is because we have a round bale pickup uh, wagon, automatic uh, Ursus one. 
Uh, baling technology, yes, we have that thing right there. So, kind of an incentive to use the round baler. Uh, I don't think we have the square bale one, do we? You own zero. No, we do not have that one. So, yeah, like I said, a little incentive there to use the round bales, even though they do roll down the hill. Uh, Latio was saying, I also got the Coldboro map. Way to go, you'll have to uh, hop on the server then. Anyway, folks, so that will uh, call it an episode there. Uh, if folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.